It's Tuesday, October 12th. I'm Father Ron. I hope this finds you in a very beautiful place filled with the peace of Christ. I'm looking out this window of our chapel and I just, I, I see the changing leaves and the beauty that is out here. And I'm just so grateful and grateful for you as we begin our new day in prayer. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth shall shall declare your grace. grace. Psalm 21, For Our Nation I rejoice, O God, that you have allowed this nation to prosper. In spite of our sins, we have our heart's desires. The blessings of prosperity, a measure of security, and more power than we can wisely use. Help us to move towards justice and use our power well. Help us to understand that when we give to others in the world, we give to ourselves. Help us to trust you and appreciate the many names others use for you. Help us to be wise, O God, wise and great. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 30. A cheerful glance brings joy to the heart. Good news invigorates the bones. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Do you remember the last time you had a serious conversation about bones with a friend or family member? I venture to say that for most of us, talking about our body parts or bones is not easy or comfortable. The closest we come to having this kind of personal conversations is perhaps at the doctor's office or when we are casually commenting about someone's bone structure. Either way, these are rare moments. The same is true culturally. Normally, it is during our Halloween celebrations or when we commemorate the Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead that bones, skulls, and skeletons take the center stage in more acceptable ways. Religiously speaking, we could also think of the prophet Ezekiel as one of those rare moments when we have a graphic depiction of bones in full splendor. Ezekiel, in chapter 37, recalls vividly, The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He goes on to say, And I saw a great many bones on the valley, bones that were very dry. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Today's reading picks up on these experiences with bones when it states directly, A cheerful glance brings joy to the heart, and good news invigorates the bones. Far from being a morbid obsession, our faith in cultural connections to bones can truly remind us of the life-giving Spirit of the Lord, 
a spirit that gives life to every dry bone and circumstance in life. The good news reaching our hearts in prayer can never be a dead word, far from it, but the radiant and living word of Christ. As Ezekiel and Proverbs capture well for us, it is the word of the Lord that has the power to rattle the bones to new life, bringing the fullness of joy and life into every fiber of our being. So let us rejoice and be glad. Let us move our bodies, invigorating our bones with praise and thanksgiving. For God's love is near, and His love is truly enduring. Amen. And as Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, in you justice and mercy meet. With unparalleled love, you have saved us from death and drawn us into the circle of your life. Open our eyes to the wonders this life sets before us, that we may serve you free from fear and address you as God our Father. We ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying with us today. Blessings upon you. We'll see you tomorrow.